Team GB. Appreciated as they should be. And uh, we are delighted to welcome uh, PC Martin Taylor and uh, Police Dog Albion to join us this evening. Because in those dreadful Paris attacks, you look towards the screen now, Police Dog in uh, Paris, called Diesel, lost his life. And uh, for that, he received the Dickin Medal from the PDSA for bravery and our very grateful thanks to all our police dogs. We will see them later on. But this is uh, something that they do 365 days of the year. We salute Dickin and we salute all our police dogs. Thank you, Police Dog Albion and Police, and police Constable Martin Taylor from the West Woodlands Police Display Team. We've been watching them uh, on Channel 4, More 4 and also on the crafts.com YouTube channel. We have the four finalists for this year's You Can Uber Friends for Life. Let us now look at those four amazing stories. I'm Sophie and this is my best friend Scooby. I have hydrocephalus and brittle type 1 diabetes which is where I have very low awareness of when my bloods are low or high. Scooby was brought originally as a companion for her, but he showed this natural instinct in detecting her diabetes and we've nurtured that. He's just brought my independence back, really. I'm Rosie and this is Boo. In 2010, as in a loving relationship, we moved in together. We later found out we were pregnant. Two months down the line, I was rushed into an emergency surgery where I had a 15% chance of survival and had to have the baby removed. I was lying in hospital and saw a litter of puppies for sale, so I went and picked up Boo. I just felt this rush of love and happiness. Boo supports me day to day, so with her, with me, I feel safe. This is Cohen and his autism assistance dog, Azalee. Cohen was born healthy and meeting all his milestones. About 18 months, he became extremely anxious. We would be unable to go out as a family. Since Azalee has came to our lives, the difference has been huge. Azalee now is giving him the life skills that he needs uh, to fulfill his potential, whatever that may be. He's given us a family life that we never dreamed possible. He's given us a life back, he's given us our son back. My name is Louise and this is my dog Teddy Bear. When I was 14, I was hit by a car and I was in a wheelchair for roughly a year. So I decided that I was going to try and take my own life. Two seconds after the thought came in my mind, he ran away from me. He went and got a ball and he threw it at my feet and barked at me. And that was it. The thought went and I've not thought anything like that ever since. The setbacks that I used to have, they're not setbacks anymore, they're challenges. And we challenge them together. the big ring here at Crafts. Let's give them all a massive round of applause. Here they come, Sophie and Scooby, Boo and Rosie. We've got uh, Joshua tonight and Azalee, and we've also got Louise and uh, Teddy Bear. <laughs> oh, Scooby! Well, he could have done it outside, couldn't he? He did! Oh, Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. I tell you that this young lady is a real credit. Sophie, just what does Scooby do for you? Scooby means the world to me because he detects my blood sugar levels when they go low or high. Saw that this morning, didn't we, in the rehearsal? 
And we, we were in here at 8 o'clock this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Scooby said, no, nope, Sophie's blood sugar levels are there. And uh, that just is amazing, isn't it? Is he your best friend? Yes. Well done. Good luck. Well done, Sophie and Scooby. <laughs> Rosie. Amazing stories, isn't it? And he's not so well either, is he? No, no, she's got a chronic heart condition, so we just have to try and manage that and live every day as it is. Had a real, she had a really nasty scare, didn't she? She did. I was told she wouldn't survive the night her heart failed. Just what does she do for you? Well, she supported me through losing my baby, and she alerts me to my post-traumatic stress disorder attacks as well, so she's just a constant support and love for me. Well done. Well done, Rosie. <laughs> now, are there fan clubs up there? Joshua, your little brother's at home, isn't he? He couldn't be with us here this evening. But um, is, he, is he Cohen's best friend, Azalee? Yeah, he really is. Is he? And just, just what, does he, what does he do? Because he, your son has been through so much pain and so much hardship, hasn't he? He has, and Azalee just gives him so much confidence and courage, and we really feel like I've got my little boy back. It's unbelievable. That's incredible, isn't it? And Oh, my word. Well, I, I'm speechless. Well done, Joshua. Give your brother a big hug, won't you, tonight when you get home? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> and Louise. Hello, teddy bear. Woo! Yes, you, there's camera. You, you suffered from terrible depression. And just what did teddy bear do? Uh, he saved me from suicidal depression. He gave me confidence to go out. He gave me confidence to speak to people, to meet people. Um, I've met some amazing people. They're friends of mine now. Um, we've run dog shows, which he gave me the confidence to do. And um, we've raised roughly £12,000, I think, so far. £12,000 for charity. That is Teddy Bear. <laughs> Phenomenal. They're all uh, four amazing finalists. And a very grateful thanks indeed to you, Kanuba. Martin Clunes selected these from a, a huge, huge entry, and he found it incredibly difficult. Now, it gives me great pleasure to welcome, on behalf of you, Kanuba, Anna Lisa Riki, the managing director of you, Kanuba UK, who has got the golden envelope. But before we open that envelope, they are unbelievable, aren't they? They are all amazing dogs, and that's why the Ukanuba Friends for Life competition is so important to us at Ukanuba, because it really showcases how extraordinary dogs are and the important role they play in our lives. And in the case of all of these amazing four finalists, they truly have transformed their lives, and I know that from getting to know the finalists. They are all amazing. They are. Oh, give them a round of applause, please. Okay, nobody, apart from one person in this six and a half thousand seater hall, knows the results, and it's not Annalise. So, who is the 2016 Yukonuba Friends for Life? The Yukonuba Friends for Life is, is, is. Boo and Rosie. Oh, Boo. Boo. Trophy time. And rosettes. Shall I take that envelope from you? And at least, there we go. Sorry. Here we are. Rosie, the stage is yours. It's presentation time. <laughs> Let's just have a word with Rosie. How good does that feel? Amazing, and my Delta girls have shown up to support me as well. Um, it's just incredible, so thank you to everyone who supported us. Oh, I'm so nervous. And voted for us all along the way. It's, it's just been the most amazing experience ever. Have you had a good day at Crufts? Oh, we've been spoiled. It's been lovely. It's just been a dream come true. The whole thing has. And all your other finalists are 
unbelievable, aren't they? Oh, incredibly, and it just goes to show what dogs can actually do for people in such a range of, of aspects in people's lives. It certainly does. Very well done. Ladies and gentlemen, they will take their lap of honour very, very shortly, but please show your heartfelt appreciation for all our finalists, but in particular, the Yukonuba Friends for Life 2016 is Rosie and Boo. <laughs> Lap of honour time. Give them a massive cheer.